Hey guys, welcome back or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my September favorites and as usual, I'm not just going to be talking about my September favorites, but I'm actually going to be putting them on my face. So this look right over here is the look that I came up with. I think it's definitely very fall appropriate, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. Now I may or may not be having a giveaway in this video. You'll have to stay tuned to the end to find out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and without further ado. Let's get into the video. Okay, so we're first going to start with the face and then I will move on to the eyes just a little bit later So I'm going to be taking my Estee Edit Radiance Activator. This is a really really nice glowy type of primer It's very similar to the Becca backlight priming filter, but I would say it's just a little bit less intense You may be able to tell like on my fingers it has a little bit of a glow to it Especially if your skin is feeling really dull something like this is really nice just to liven it up a little bit and make it look a little bit less flat and a little bit more just glowy and dewy and alive. All right, so now moving on to the foundation that I've been loving this month, and it is the Giorgio Armani Maestro Glow. Now, I've had this for a really long time, and it's sort of just been sitting in the back of my foundation drawer, but I've sort of rediscovered it over the past month. If you want your skin to look glowy, this foundation is probably one of my favorite foundations for a very, very glowy look. I also really like the coverage of it. It's like a light to medium coverage, so I would not consider this a full coverage whatsoever. This is really great for those no makeup makeup days when you just want your skin to look really nice and fresh and dewy and youthful. Now, please disregard the color of this foundation. It is definitely way too dark for me currently. I was wearing this when I had some fake tan on, so it is not really matching me so well right now, but I'll make it work with like a lighter concealer. It'll all match up in the end, so don't, don't be alarmed right now. <laughs> Since this is a little bit of a get ready with me, I wanted to update you guys a bit. In my last get ready with me, I told you guys that I was in the midst of trying to find an apartment and I found one, so it's so exciting. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see some sort of like apartment tour once I'm done decorating or maybe a vlog. I can't really promise a vlog just because it's gonna be really hectic because I'm sure you can assume moving is never a stress-free um, event. But I was thinking of perhaps vlogging a little bit and if I don't vlog then maybe just like an apartment tour or something like that. So just let me know in the comments what you guys would wanna see. You know what's really funny is that um, the day after I filmed that video, I found an apartment. And this apartment is like 10 times better than the first apartment that I put that offer on. So everything all works out for a reason. So now let's move on to concealer. I'm sure everybody is sick of hearing about these concealers. It is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Literally everybody has been talking about these, but honestly it's for a good reason. I just love how full coverage they are and they are really good with not creasing. And I get so many questions of where to get these in Canada. And you can get them at the Tarte website. The Tarte website does ship to Canada. They actually do ship fairly quickly. I've ordered from them before. So I'm just gonna highlight a bit with the lightest shade. This is in the shade Fair. It's a little bit pinkier. Um, so this is definitely going to balance out the darkness that is going on on the rest of my face. I'm going to take my Morphe sponge and just blend that out. And you're going to see this is really going to give my skin a brighter look, especially since this is such a light color. I've also been asked quite a ton um, how I like the Morphe sponge, and I do actually really like it. I always think it's so crazy how much the Beauty Blender is, considering it's literally just a sponge and it must cost them basically nothing to actually make them. So it's always nice to find more affordable dupes for the Beauty Blender, and the Morphe one is a really nice one if you're looking for something that's a little bit more affordable. Also, the Real Technique sponge is a really, really nice one. That's another one of my favorites. So you may have noticed that I've sort of been baking lately. I was never into baking when baking first like surfaced. I sort of just stayed away from it because I figured with my dry skin it just wouldn't work very well. But I've been loving baking with a damp sponge. Underneath my eyes I really feel like it just locks my concealer in place and I just really like how it gives my under eyes a very airbrushed finish. I've been doing it basically on an everyday basis. So I'm using my RCMA powder on the same sponge that I use to blend out my concealer. And I'm just going to put a semi thick layer underneath my eyes, nothing too crazy just to get that powder under there. I'm gonna let this sit for not even like 10 seconds and then just sweep it away. I also get a lot of questions from those of you in Canada where to get the RCMA powder. Get it from Beautylish. Beautylish is the best website to order from. You can get products sent to you literally the next day. So now I'm just gonna take any fluffy brush and just sweep that away. Get rid of all that powder. 
All right, so now let's move on to the eyes and we'll come back to the face a little bit later. To prime my eyes, I'm gonna be taking the Kat Von D Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer. I have been loving this to prime my eyes. This is a really awesome eyeshadow primer. Not only does it sort of cancel out any redness, discoloration, or veins on the lids to really make a nice blank canvas for eyeshadow to lay on, but it also just primes really nicely. It really does make my eyeshadow last, so I've been loving it. And this is in the shade Fair, so I'm just gonna sort of swipe this onto my lid and then blend it out with my finger. All right, so now moving on to the eyeshadow. Now I know this really recently came out, but since I've received it in the mail, I have not stopped using it. And other than this, I haven't really had any other eyeshadow palette that I've been really drawn towards this month, but I really, really have been loving the Anastasia and Mario Master Palette. There's some really great neutrals in here with some really nice sort of soft pops of color, which I like, really perfect for every day. So I'm first going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna be taking my Smith 232, going into Isabel, which which is a very, very warm sort of orangey color. And I'm going to use this as my transition shade right above my crease. So I'm just gonna buff that out in that area. So now I'm gonna go into a more precise blending brush. This is my MAC 217. And I'm going to go into Violetta, which is the warm brown in the palette. And I'm just going to start to apply this directly into my crease to start to add a little bit of depth in that area. This is gonna be like the easiest smoky eye ever. It's literally gonna be three shades. My favorite looks are the really quick and easy ones that are nice and effective and give a really beautiful glam effect in the end. I like to start with a little bit of product and then just build up the color so that the blending is nice and easy. And I just like to go back and forth till I'm happy with the way it looks. All right, so now I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into Bronx, which is that olive green shade. It's so beautiful and I'm just going to take my brush and pack that all over my lid. And you could see how pigmented this stuff is. Like you do not need to spray it with any Fix Plus or anything to really get a nice color payoff. And now I'm gonna take a little pencil brush. I'm gonna go back into Violetta and I'm going to just tap that on the outer corner of my eye, sort of down diagonally towards down my lash line and then into the crease just to deepen up that outer corner. And then taking my blending brush and just blending that to make sure that everything is smooth. Now I'm gonna take a flat synthetic brush. I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus. I'm gonna take a little bit of Fifth Avenue, which is a gold shade. And I'm actually gonna pop this right in the center of my lid just to add a little bit of dimension to the lid since it is looking a little bit flat and I want to sort of just make it sparkle just a little bit. So I'm just gonna pat that and then you can take your finger to sort of blend out the edges so it doesn't look harsh. Now I'm gonna take another brush. I'm gonna take Bronx and I'm just gonna sweep that on my lower lash line. Smoke it out a bit. And now for my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go back into Fifth Ave and I'm going to use that to highlight the inner corners of my eyes to really tie everything together. Brighten everything up a bit. And then I'm gonna take Hollywood, which is the matte creamy shade. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with that. Now I'm gonna take an olive green eyeliner. This is the Smashbox Always Sharp 3D Eyeliner. And this is in the shade 3D Billionaire. This is a really pretty olive green shade with a little bit of gold. I'm just gonna line my waterline with this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. Now I don't have a particular mascara that I've been really loving this month, so I'm just gonna use my Lancome Volume Apporté and just apply a few coats to my upper as well as my lower lashes. And then you are done with the eyes. Very quick, very easy. Okay, so now let's move on from the eyes back to the face. Let's bronze up the face a little bit. And today I'm gonna be using my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum, Serum Bronzer. So basically all you do is you shake it up a little bit and then I'm going to pour some on the back of my hand. Just a little bit, you don't need too much. And then I'm going to just dot this wherever I wanna bronze on my face. So that is in all the normal bronzing places. So on my cheekbone area, on my temples. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender, the butt of it, and I'm just going to start to buff that out. And this blends out in two seconds. Like, look at that, I barely had to do anything. One reason why I really like this product, because it is like more of a serum. It's very, very liquidy and very blendable. It looks so nice and natural, not overdone. And because it's a liquid, it literally looks like it's a part of the skin. It just adds such a nice little like contour to the face. I love it. Now, I've been really into contouring lately, which is very unlike me. I was never really a big contour, but lately I've been really enjoying the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow palette. And I've been using the Sculpt, which is this shade over here. 
and I'm just going to use this to contour just the hollows of my cheeks very slightly. The color of this is really beautiful. It's not too cool, not too warm, so it just looks really natural on the skin. This is a very good contouring shade for fair skin tones, and I definitely would highly recommend I think it's so, so worth it. Now for my blush today, I'm gonna to be taking my Marc Jacobs blush, and this is in the shade Lines and Last Night. This is the Air Blush. I've been loving this. It blends out so beautifully, and this color is just so, so gorgeous. It's, it's a little bit peachy, and it's just really, really pretty. Like I've been mentioning, I've been so over the metallic highlighter, and I'm so much more into the highlighter that is a little bit more subtle, a little bit more glow from within type of highlighter. So I have been loving the um, Benefit Watts Up Cream Highlighter. It is such a beautiful cream highlighter that looks very natural, but it still gives you that pop that you're looking for. It definitely makes your cheeks look really nice and glowy, but not overdone. It's also really, really nice for every day. It doesn't look crazy in natural light. So I just take my finger, dab it on the tops of my cheekbones, a little bit on the apples of my cheeks, and that's it. Good to go. All right, so now I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows. I don't have any favorite brow products of the month, so I'm just gonna do what I normally do. Now lately, to make my brows look a little bit more, not so much like precise, but just clean them up just a little bit, I've been loving the Anastasia Highlighting Duo Pencil. It basically has a matte, like yellow base shade on one side and then a shimmery sort of gold shade on the other. So I've been taking this shade, which is the matte shade, and I just like to sort of underline my brows with this, and I really feel like this cleans it up so if I was a little bit too messy with my brows you just very lightly sort of outline the brows and then blend it out with your finger and it's that quick and that easy and your brows automatically look just a little bit sharper and a little bit cleaner. Now all that's left to do are the lips so I'm going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kim KW. When I was in Vancouver with Samantha Ravindahl she used this and I was like what is on your lips? Please tell me right now and it was this so as soon as I got back home I went and I bought this and I have not stopped using it. It's just the perfect pinky nude because it's not too pink. It's not a totally matte finish either. It's sort of like a satin finish. It's honestly just it's perfect. So I'm just going to apply this to my lips. So once you're done with the lips then you're done the whole entire look and now all of my favorites for the month of September are now on my face. So that is it for the tutorial and my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you made it to the end of the video, congratulations. Now it is time for a little giveaway. You know what? I just really wanted to give back to you guys. This giveaway is really for no reason other than I just wanted to say thank you for all of your continuous support on all my videos always. So I'm first going to go through the products that I'm going to be including in this little giveaway and then I will let you guys know how to actually enter. The first product that is in the giveaway is this Anastasia lip gloss set. I believe this is the holiday lip gloss set. It has one, two, three, four, five, six shades in here. I'm also going to be including this tar brush set. This has five brushes in here, but four out of the five brushes are actually double sided. So really you get uh, basically eight, nine brushes, which is pretty cool. I'm also going to be including a NYX Strobe of Genius highlighting palette, one of my favorite highlighting palettes, and of course, a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, it's going to be very, very simple and very easy. Basically, all you're going to do is just click the link in the description box, and you're going to enter through there. I've done this method in all of my giveaways, and it's always just very easy for me to track who's entering. Basically, if you click the link and you're already subscribed to my channel, then you automatically have one entry. If you want to gain more entries and you could do different tasks which basically include follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Again, if you already follow me on all my platforms then you'll be entered on all those times. Just make sure to follow all the steps to make sure that your entries are counted. Now as far as who can enter this giveaway, this giveaway is going to be international. This giveaway is going to last a week so next Monday I will put the exact date in the description box. The winner will be announced in the description box of this video and I will be contacting them via email. If the winner does not get back to me within 24 hours, I will be picking a new winner. So do make sure that if your name is in the description box of the video in a week from now, that you check your inbox. And the winner will be chosen completely randomly. So all of the rules as well as the prizes will be in the description box down below for you guys to check out in case you're a little bit confused. It will all be very straightforward down there. I really hope you guys enjoy this little surprise giveaway. Do not forget to let me know what you thought of this video. And of course, don't forget to let me know what your favorite product was in the month of September give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. Over to first time here. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my fall beauty routine. Now 